Welcome back, Bobby with HL Supply. Today we're gonna to be replacing the oil pump in a Sill MS460 Magnum chainsaw. This one, uh, there's several things we need to do today to access the oil pump. So we're gonna get started with the simple part. There's two bolts over here on this cover. We're gonna remove those. Okay, the cover should slide off. Set that to the side. Our next step, we're gonna remove the sprocket and we'll start by taking the E-clip off. We've removed the E-clip, now we're removing the washer. Remove the rim sprocket. Next, we'll remove the drum. And clutch drum bearing. Now the clutch is a little more difficult to remove. We're going to need to use a piston stop. You can use a metal one. Some people don't like it. I'm gonna show you a nice, easy, affordable way to make a piston stop at home using rope and a knife. You wanna make four knots in the rope about an inch apart. We're gonna use about two feet of rope and we'll go with our first knot. And like I said, keep them about an inch apart. So to get where we need to use our piston stop, we need to remove the air filter cover. So to use our special piston stop, we need to insert that where the spark plug is. So we'll start, we'll remove the air filter cover. There it is. Boom. Next, we'll remove the spark plug. Now time for the rope. And you wanna insert the rope, all four knots, as far as you can. It's important to remember with the clutch that they're reverse threaded. So you're going to loosen it the opposite way that you normally would. We're going to turn it to get our piston to stop. Now that the piston has been stopped, sometimes clutches are very hard to remove. So we actually have a trick to show you so you can learn how to do it easy at home. Using basic tools, if you don't have impact wrenches or something special, you'll go ahead, get your wrench on, and then we're gonna remove it using leverage. Handy piece of pipe. And with the pipe on, You'll just use the piece of pipe to help get it started with the clutch removal. And you should be able, once it's officially, we'll say broke, you should be able to remove it by hand. And the clutch has been removed. Behind the clutch is a washer. So we'll remove that, that slides right off. And now we have access to the oil pump. The worm gear also slides off. So to remove the old oil pump, there are two screws holding it in place. We'll start and remove those. There's one. And then to remove this other one, because it's at a tricky angle, we're gonna use the T-wrench. And the oil pump should slide right off. The old has been removed. Now you can notice this is extremely dirty. So before we put the new oil pump in there, we'll clean it out, get rid of all that old grease, dirt, and oil. I'm gonna go get this cleaned up. I'll be right back. Now that we've cleaned around the crankcase where the oil pump will be installed, we're ready to go ahead and install the new oil pump. And when you're doing this, you do wanna make sure where the oil pump connects that it's free of any debris so nothing's getting pushed inside. Okay, we'll slide our new pump on. Next, we're gonna bolt down the oil pump. The next step is to install the worm gear, and then you're gonna put the threads in first. It's important to remember with this little hook here, when you're installing the drum, that it goes in the little notch in the drum. This is what will power your oil pump. The next step is the clutch washer. It does say on here, top, so that way you know which side faces out. The next step is the actual clutch. 
Next is the clutch drum bearing. So when installing the drum, you'll rotate it until you feel it catch with the hook from the worm gear. Got it. Next will be the rim. Then we've got the washer. And next will be the E-clip. And there we go. Now that that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and remove our piston stop so that we can reinstall the spark plug. We'll go ahead and put the spark plug boot back on. And then we'll go ahead and get it put back together. So today, you saw it's a little involved, but well worth it to replace the oil pump in your still MS460 Magnum. It's pretty much the same procedure for a lot of different brands and models. It's been Bobby. We'll see you next time.